<laughs> this is really surprising, because usually you hear rumors and so forth. I was absolutely convinced. And so if you look, we've been revamping our group website, and it's only half redone. So <laughs> there's some direct evidence that I didn't expect to get the prize this year. <laughs> it was not anticipated. And I was particularly surprised, because I, I you know, my number is unlisted. I don't have a phone. I have a cell phone. My number is unlisted. And the phone rang in the middle of the night. And usually I can't hear it, but I heard it. And I got up, and it was this, you know, these guys from the Swedish Academy. And I'm going, how did you get my phone number? <laughs> you know, and it turns out they called around, right? And pretty soon my neighbor's over knocking on my door saying, hey, we got a call. <laughs> you know? So we gave him your number. Multiple <laughs> instruments for NASA COBE experiment used in, to make the discoveries was built at the Berkeley lab. And so they called, and, and uh, at first I thought, well, I better be careful. This could be a hoax or something like that. But the guy sounded really serious, and the next guy sounded like, you know, and he had a Swedish accent. And so, you know, I'm thinking, well, I better, you know, I better, you know, take him seriously. And so, and so finally, one, uh, somebody I knew got on the phone, and I thought, oh, this is either a really elaborate hoax or it's, <laughs> this is the real thing. And I was kind of believing it, but I thought, I better get on the web and check. Right. <laughs> All the scientists and engineers and staff here at NASA, congratulations. Thank you. Eddie. Hell of a good job. Thank you. Well, I did receive a phone call from, the, uh, from Sweden this morning at a quarter of six. And so I rolled over and I thought, well, I'll talk to them for a moment. Then I think I better sit up and uh, turn on the light. <laughs> and I better wake up my wife. Uh, so um, I think she could guess what was going on, even though I didn't say bravo or anything right out loud. Um, so um, then I talked on the telephone to people for the next hour uh, because people, the phone was just ringing consistently and constantly and, uh, and people calling to congratulate me and then ask the kinds of questions that you're asking. Why did you do this? What's it for? Why is it so important? And so uh, it's been the same all day. I've had at least 500 emails since this morning. Yeah, he does. Have you talked with your co-recipient? Sure. How does your research and, and work um, enhance our understanding of the universe for the future, and what does it mean for us? Okay, well, I've always been excited to know how did we get here uh, from the very beginning of time through uh, ev ev everything that's made it possible for planets to exist. Um, I wanted to know about life, the origin of life, uh, and this is my particular kind of contribution to this subject. Um, I like to speculate on what the future may bring, and uh, scientists have written about that too. We don't know whether we're going to a giant uh, uh, wimp out of the universe where it uh, fades away or whether it uh, will return to a giant uh, uh, collapse again. 